Hey everyone, it's Joy here. Welcome back to my channel. I have another video with my collaboration with rubberstamps.com. This is my cute Critters at Play Water Fun stamp set. Um, again, you can find the collection at rubberstamps.com and I do have that listed and linked below for you in the description. So today we're gonna do a masking card and here's this cute stamp set. We have a bunny, a panda bear, a bear on a floaty. You have a little kiddie pool, which I thought would be fun. Some flippers, goggles, sunglasses, uh, a bucket and a ball. It says float, relax, repeat. Enjoy the day, hope your birthday is a splash. So in my Misty, I have my scene laid out because we're gonna be doing masking. So you want to start with your images that are in the forefront. So I have my, I'm taking a photo so I can remember, but I have my two critters in the pool. So they are up front. And then I have my little beach ball that's gonna be overlapping the pool. So those are the images I want to stamp first. So I'm gonna pick those up with my Misty, remove the pool, and then I can stamp the other images, including the little splashes and the water puddle, because those are not going to be overlapping anything. So I'm gonna ink those up with some black ink. I am using Olo markers to uh, color my images. Now I actually did make a boo-boo on this card, but I'll show you how I fixed it with the masking and I'll tell you what I did wrong and it was so silly. So now I have my little images uh, stamped. I need to stamp them on my masking paper. I'm using um, Simon Says Stamps masking paper, and I'm gonna trim those out with my scissors. When you're trimming out for masking, you need to cut on the black stamped line. Don't cut on the outside, otherwise you'll end up with like a little halo that's not colored, especially if you're gonna ink blend, which I'm gonna ink blend. So I added my masking pieces over top my images. Now I'm gonna add the pool. Here's my mistake. I forgot to mask that little ball. <laughs> I masked it too late, so I should have masked the ball right now as well, but I'll show you how I fix that. I'm also going to stamp and cut a mask for the pool and for the little puddle at the bottom. I am not worried about uh, the splashes at the top because I will be doing, um, excuse me, I'm sorry, my brain just stopped. I'm just gonna be coloring those with the Olo markers. So I thought I was gonna cut them out and I'm like, I'm not cutting all those pieces out. So I did stamp them on the masking paper. I did not cut them out and it didn't matter because I can color over the ink blending because I wanna ink blend this background. Okay, so now that I have all of my masking pieces on there, I'm gonna ink blend with Spring for the Grass and Sea Foam from Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Inks. I just want this lightly colored background and I'm just gonna blend the two colors together. So because the water, water splashes are already gonna be blue, I didn't need to mask that off at the top and I'm just gonna do a really, really light blue. Then you can peel back all of your masking and that's when I realized oh I <laughs> did not mask my ball beforehand so all I did was stamp a ball and cut it out that's right now I'm like seriously <laughs> um, but I can cut or excuse me stamp a ball and cut it out and adhere it down so if I had done that right that would not be an issue Let's use the Olo markers. I'm gonna put the caps down so you guys can see what colors. I'm gonna go really dark with the water because I think that's gonna be kind of fun. And I'm gonna show you how to look like, to, to show that the image, oh, let me start over. I'm gonna show you how I made the images look like they are in water. And I will say I was super nervous about doing it, but it is really super easy. So I'm using Olo markers, RV 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, Y 2.2 and 2.3, RG 3, 5 and 6, R 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, BG 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.4, BG 2.4, 2.3 and 2.1, and then CG 1 and 0. Okay, so I'm gonna do the blue at the bottom of the pool just getting that base color down first. 
adding my darker areas, blending that out with the medium and having the light in the center. Then I want to color my critter. So we've got this cute little bunny here. I'm gonna get him colored and then the panda, you don't have to do a whole lot to, but I don't leave him just white. I wanna add a little bit of gray. So on camera, it's hard to see, but in person you can see it. So he looks like he's colored. But I love this bunny. He's got some snorkeling gear on, which I think is really cute for the pool. I just think these little guys are so fun and they're having such a good time. And the panda bear has floaties on. Then you have the other bear that of course is not in this image that is sitting on a floaty, which I think is cute. Then you have a bucket, a ball, flippers, sunglasses, and goggles. And I think they're all just so, so darling. Let's add a little bit of orange for his, like a, is it orange? It's kind of pinky orange um, for his snorkeling gear. And then the panda bear will have a little bit of like turquoise floaties, but you also could do those in multiple different colors. Each one of the little rings on the floaty could be a different color and that would be a lot of fun too. So here is that gray, that CG1 that I'm just gonna add to the white areas of the panda and then a little bit of uh, pink for his cheeks. Here, now we're gonna color the water so I'm using a darker blue like the darkest blue that I used for the edges and I'm going to add and add around the critters and as you can see as I'm going around the bellies it's not a straight line it's a curved line and then I'm going around their body so it's almost like creating a little shadow in the water then I'm gonna go with the medium color and kind of blend out from there or the light color and just blend Again, going over it one more time because I want to get a nice good blend. But as you can see, that's starting to come together like they're sitting in the water. I'm going to blend that out one more time. I'm going in with a really dark blue, not coloring it in, but just adding little areas that are a little bit darker. And then the one thing that really helps it to look like it's water is with this white gel pen. I'm following, I'm starting at the line where the blue hits the colored or it hits the little critter. So some little ripples there and they're going in like the little half circles around and radiating out from each of their little bodies. So now it looks like they're sitting in the water. And you guys, I was so nervous the first time I did it because I'm like, I did all of this masking. I did do a practice piece off to the side, but I was a little scared. I'm gonna add a few more little white highlights out further, but I think that turned out so cute. Let's finish coloring the pool and then we'll finish coloring the panda bear. I wanted this pool to be just a fun pink. I did add that water line up the back wall just a little bit and I am bringing the pink down and I'm adding a white gel pin at the top of the water line. So let's finish coloring this. So this is gonna be like pink and green. It has all these fun polka dots. Of course, I'm starting with the darkest color and then again, the medium to the light. And then all of those polka dots are gonna be green. And let's just get this blended. I needed to stop for just a second. I am so sorry, you guys. <laughs> but here is that medium color of the pink. This is the RV colors, RV 0 0.4, 0 0.2, and 0 0.1. And then let's go with that lighter pink. And I'm gonna go carefully around all of those little dots but look at how cute that is. And then one more time, just to get that extra detail. I feel like that second or third time really gets a lot of that detail. You kind of fine tune the blending with your alcohol ink markers. That's just my opinion. That's just how I like to color it, but everyone's different. Okay, so, and as you can notice, I was using like a half marker because with Olo markers, you can get them in half markers and then you put them together to create one big marker that has two different colors. So one color on each end. So that one didn't have a matching one. So it was just this short little one, but you can get a handle for the back of it. I just don't feel like I need it. So here's the fun little green polka dots. 
and then we're gonna do green for his floaties. So again, I messed up with that <laughs> little beach ball, but I fixed that. I colored it orange and yellow and just adhered it to the background right over where I where I had stamped it. Then we have our sentiments that say at the top, enjoy the day, hope your day is a splash. So this is a great little birthday card. Again, this doesn't have to just be for summer. This could be any time of the year. I mean, of course it works great for summer, but it doesn't have to be summer. I just think it's fun and playful. I'm gonna stamp this with black ink and then I can adhere this to a white A2 size card base. And we have this cute one layer masked card. I'm gonna finish off with some white gel pen highlights to the rest of the images here. And again, you can find this my uh, collection at rubberstamps.com. I do have that listed and linked below for you in the description. But let's take a look at this up close and look at how cute this is. I love it. It's so much fun. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.